So you have to find uh, the work that you like or you will like or you can fall in love in, okay? Because ultimately, uh, we work and then we will continue to work. Hi, my name is KC. I'm a tea merchant and my tea shop is the oldest in Pataling Street. We have been in tea business for so long, since 1945. So what we are trying to cultivate is to introduce tea to people that already in to tea or newcomers. So we are trying, trying to get them into tea so they love it. Not just for the health benefits, but as a lifestyle that actually blends into their everyday uh, work. Um, I don't know. The, the first thing I was I was I was telling my next next generation is that hey, do you drink tea or not? You like to drink tea? Huh? It's always a no. Okay, it's always a no. So don't enjoy. Okay, whatever. But then uh, I would think that it will change. It will change. But uh, what I I wanted to cultivate is actually a habit into uh, tea drinking as well. Well, we are much more specialized in the tea uh, series that we have. So um, on the point that uh, the tea shop is being established or the tea business being established, we are actually into oolong tea. So I can say that we are specialized more in oolong tea. Okay, oolong tea is a semi-oxidized tea. We are the start in uh, Malaysia that actually distribute tea to the people uh, in the whole of Malaysia, especially in Peninsula, because the business started in KL itself. Okay. So the, I would guess that my grandfather had the idea of uh, bringing tea in, uh, not just because it's actually a home, um, it's a home thing, okay, because he is coming from Ansi, and especially in gathering people around most probably this area, Pataling Street, back then, you know, all right. So uh, it's more on to gathering people around because you don't have that just like uh, nowadays a cafe that is widely available. People gather and then you can come and yum cha and so on. So most probably that is the concept that I get, okay, that my grandfather is trying to bring people around and at the same time, you can actually bring this commodity tea to Malaysia to share it with people. I don't know, that word actually keeps me thinking about, you know, like kuli, you know, you know, it's hard work. I, I don't view that, although the, the word is there, but then, I view it more onto, you know, working, for example, working. So you have to find uh, the work that you like or you will like or you can fall in love in, okay? Because ultimately, uh, we work and then we will continue to work on something, okay? Right to the end of our lives, most probably, if we can, okay? So it's something that we like and then you stick to it and then you like doing it every day. Well, I think tea itself is actually a very lifestyle basis thing that actually people enjoy just like coffee so when we talk about tea um, people almost every time relate it to health benefits okay so they are not actually into lifestyle that much in Malaysia but of the health benefit that they can actually obtain from drinking tea okay so from my point of view is that uh, we have been in tea business for so long okay so businesses whether it can continue or not um, to, in my point of view, of course, I wanted it to continue, okay? But most probably not in the form of how I actually um, got it from my father, continue business, because um, in that way, I, well, sad to say, I would say, I, I would see that the business cannot continue that way, okay, into the next generation. And then you need to get, you know, fresh people coming in, generate more ideas, and so on.